So first, you know, quickly defining zero trust. Zero trust really means flipping the model to not trust either a user or a system until they've proved that they are trustworthy. So it's moving from that traditional security model we had of building a high enough wall and then assuming everything inside could be trustworthy. So within that, zero trust is a different way of thinking and it's a multi-year, multi-step goal. It all starts with a good way to do identity management, access management, so that you actually know the identity of individuals or systems in a consistent way and that you trust the way that you verify that. We all know that stolen credentials has been a key way to undermine trust in an enterprise and that's why zero trust is so promising because it presumes that there could be adversaries in your network so you're not just assuming that because somebody has credentials they could be trusted and that's why we really recommend starting with that ICAM solution, that identity solution, implementing it, really ensuring that you understand it and then going to the next stage of your zero trust model of using that in decisions and in the processes of decisions.